Hi, I'm Scott McLean from TransMusicMastery.com. In this video, I will show you how Adam Sabo created a pluck sound like the one heard in Seven Cities' Armin Van Buren remix by Solarstone. And the sound that Adam created sounds like this. So let's go ahead and take a look at the MIDI clip, and I'm going to fold the display here. So if I zoom in, we can see that it's a C and an E, a B and a D, a G and a B. This represents a major third, minor third, and major third interval sequence. And then that repeats until it gets to this section when it switches to an F and an A which is a major third, then it goes up to a C and an E, which is a major third, and then F and A in this higher octave. And then that repeats, and then at the end it has this E and G interval here, which is a minor third. So let me just play through this sequence one time, and then this is just a repeat of this section here. Let me bring up the sound map. Adam Sabo says, Standard saw waveform with a low pass filter and fast decay. The EQ boost at around 550 Hz gives it a nice mid-ranged tone. So here we have one oscillator, a saw wave. That flows into a filter. It's an LP Excite filter type. And that flows into the amplifier with the volume being modulated by envelope 1. And envelope 1 is also modulating the filter cutoff. And envelope 1 has a zero attack, medium decay, sustain at 36%, and a fast release. That then flows into the effects and then to the main output. So for the effects, we have a delay. This is a stereo delay with left at 1 8 dot and right at 1 quarter. 27% dry wet mix, some cross feedback. And then that flows into a reverb with approximately a 5 to 6 second reverb tail, zero dampening for a bright reverb sound. And then that flows into an EQ. And with the EQ we have a low shelf applying a plus 1.5 dB boost near 550 Hz. Also have a bandpass plus 9 dB boost near 550 Hz and a bandpass plus 7 dB boost near 5.5 kHz. And then a high shelf plus 3 dB boost near 8 kHz. And then that flows into the main output. Okay, let's build this patch. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is set the Zebra 2 compatibility mode to 2.3 mode. Corresponds to the version of Zebra 2 that Adam created the patch on. And we want to increase lane 1 volume to 100. And I'm going to go ahead and bring up the output level to 90.37 as well. And the next thing I want to do is tune up one octave. Okay, for oscillator one, we're going to increase the volume to 200. And next we want to make the envelope adjustments. We're going to set decay to 39.5 and sustain to 36. So you can hear how it's starting to take on the character of a pluck. Now we're going to add a filter, VCF1. And for this we want to bring the cutoff down to zero and then modulate the cutoff with envelope 1 and increase the amount of modulation to its maximum level. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so now we have the basic pluck sound in place. Now it's time to add some effects. So we're going to add delay and set the sync one time to one eighth dot. And I'm going to set cross back to zero, feedback to zero, and bring mix up to 27. And now I'm going to bring feedback up to 18 and cross back up to 36.5. Okay, really nice sounding delay. Now we're going to add reverb. And for reverb, we want to set the dry to 100 and set the wet to 33. So I'm going to bring it down to zero and then increase it to 33. And next, we're going to increase the size of the reverb by setting range to 80.5 and feedback to 72.5. And then so it stays nice and bright, we're going to set the dampening to zero. Next we're going to add an EQ and for this we want to apply a plus 9 dB boost using filter 2 at 550 hertz. We'll also apply a boost with filter 1. I'm going to do filter 2 first. And with filter 1 we're going to apply a 1.5 dB boost at 550 hertz. And we're going to increase the resonance to 78 on filter 1. Now with filter 3 we're going to apply a plus 7 dB boost near 5.5 kilohertz. And then we want to make that bandpass filter nice and wide so we're going to lower the resonance to zero to increase the bandwidth. And then with filter 4, we're going to apply a plus 3 dB boost around 8 kilohertz and with maximum resonance. Okay, and that is the patch, so I'll go ahead and play through it one time, and then that'll be the end of the video. I'll see you in the next video.